Kerry Wood going to the mound for the Cubs today in the conclusion of a two-game series against the division-leading Houston Astros. May 6, 1998, your fifth start in the major leagues. What do you remember about that morning, about going in the field that day? Uh, I remember coming into the yard and, and just not feeling great, just low energy. I remember you quoted saying you had a terrible bullpen warming up. I honestly don't think I threw a strike. Um, and, and I ended up shutting it down early and, and turned it to, to Phil Regan, flipped in the ball and said, I just, I just need to save my bullets. I just really try to take a deep breath, try to forget what you just did in the bullpen, know that your body's loose and, and go out and try to, try to go get them. He went one for five last night with a late home run. And the first pitch sails inside. First pitch of the game, I airmailed it and hit the umpire right in the face. I got a little chuckle, kind of, you know, everything was okay. His mask didn't fall off. He wasn't mad. Got back on the mound and refocused. Got him with the heat. That ball was really sizzling. One down. Changes speeds. Bell strikes out. A gunslinger ready, the 2-2. Strike three, call. Walking off the mound, I realized I just struck out the side in the first inning uh, and still didn't feel like I was locked in. I didn't know what you're talking about. Sometimes that first inning, you have a smooth first inning, but you're still quite on unsure of your stuff, yeah. unsure of your command, and you go out there now, and all of a sudden, boom, you strike out another guy. Boom, you strike out another guy. You go five in a row to start the game. Five up, five strikeouts. Was there a point where you're like, wow, I, I'm on today? Bagwell's at bat where I buckle him twice early in the game. Oh. Well, he really is getting confidence with that breaking ball, isn't he? That's when I knew that I had super sharp bite on the breaking ball today, and then I was able to double it up. It was just good. Got him with it again. <laughs> Seven strikeouts. You give up a hit early on. An infield single off Kevin Ory's glove to Ricky Gutierrez. Do you feel like it was a hit? Absolutely. I, from, from the moment it happened, I was like base hit all the way. No one thinks error on that until after the fifth or sixth inning anyways. Shouldn't matter when, where it is in the game. If it's a hit, it's a hit. If it's an error, it's an error. So in my mind, that was a hit. Uh, base hit all the way. One to nothing is our score. Kerry Wood, a brilliant outing today. Looking at the game, your strikeouts are starting to rack up. 11 strikeouts, and he's making a very good hitting ball club look awfully bad here today through five. So the seventh inning comes around, and the rain starts falling a little bit. Was there an inkling that, hey, I might not be able to finish this game? I specifically remember sitting on the mound looking over my glove going, don't call this, don't call this. I was slipping in the seventh inning about five inches, and the ball was still just going right there. So it was just one of those days where I didn't feel like I could do wrong. Got it! 13 strikeouts. You just feed off the crowd, and it just was uh, you know, almost like an out-of-body experience. This young man could set the all-time record. Roger Clemens, the record to 20 strikeouts. Well, I didn't know the record was 20. I didn't know, I mean, I didn't know that. <laughs> Why would I ever need to know what the record is? I'm like, I've never struck out more than 12 before. I just knew I had a bunch. And I'm going in the ninth inning, and I feel like I can strike everybody out. Got it! He's number 19. When you get the first out of an inning, you know how that is. It's just another, you just kind of relax and get in the zone. And then you got Biggio, a scrappy, you know, Hall of Fame veteran guy that's not, he's not going to strike out. So he puts the ball in play, ground ball to short, and it's like, uh, here we go. He's got a chance to tie Clemens if he can retire Bell. He gets to the last pitch, and I think everybody in the stadium knew it was coming. Everybody on TV knew it was coming. Uh, put it in my glove, gripped it, and just threw it there as hard as I could throw it. Here comes the hook. For a second, I'm like, it's kind of weird for just a complete game. It's a big win, but I mean, it's April. I'm kind of mobbing the guy, and I still didn't know. And then they t take me over to the, to the well and get in front of the camera, and, and I'm trying to hold my thing in, the, the earpiece in, my hand shaking. And were you counting along with the fans? Did you know how many men you had struck out and that you were chasing the major league record that you tied today? No, I, I, I couldn't even tell you how many I had. Well, you had 20. Did they give you the baseball at least? No, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> make, sure you, make sure you get that, young man, because that's one for the mantelpiece. All right. After the game, you do the interviews. You get a phone call uh, in the clubhouse. 
So I go in and, and answer the phone and I say, hey, Carrie, it's Rocket. And I had just done two hours of interviews. I just, my life had just changed. It just caught me off guard. I didn't catch it. And I was like, who? And he said it again. And I'm like, I just, I just was not there. And then I said, who again? And he's like, Roger Clemens. And I was like, oh, hey, Rocket. <laughs> and, uh, you know, what else do you say? To get a phone call from Roger Clemens and congratulating you and, uh, you know, welcome you to the club and, and say, you know, keep working hard, being from Texas, the whole, the whole connection there, you know, it's just a, one of many special moments. 20 years ago, a 20-year-old kid out on that mound at Wrigley Field struck out 20 batters. Your game that you pitched on May 6th in 1998 a lot of people say the greatest game ever pitched. That's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy to think to even hear that or to think that. Why me on that day? Uh, I was slipping, it was raining, it was just, you know, not a great day for baseball, good lineup, you know, the whole thing. It was meant to be for me that day, I guess. I, there, there's no other way to explain it.